Casey and today we have our April favorites and I know I'm super duper late. It's like May 7th I think? I don't know. So starting off with beauty favorites for the month, I have one foundation and it's a foundation that I've loved for a long time but recently re fell in love with it and by recently I mean this month. And it is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. I have loved this for so long. It's funny because I think this is probably my fourth one, I want to say, of this foundation. It's honestly one of the best foundations out there, and I've tried quite a few, and this one I just always seem to come back to. Although I like the feeling of wearing makeup and having makeup on and I feel more confident, I don't like actually wearing makeup and taking off my makeup at the end of the day is probably one of the greatest things in the world. Finding a foundation that kind of gives you that best of both worlds, my girl Hannah Montana knew what she was talking about when she said best of both worlds because being able to wear a foundation that gives you the look of being on the cover of a magazine and having that airbrush flawless finish but also feeling like you are sitting on the couch watching Netflix for hours on end that's the feeling you want. Next up I have a blush and this one was actually in my beauty haul. I just first of all fell in love with the packaging. Like I said in the haul it is absolutely adorable because it's just everything I want in life. And then the color is absolutely gorgeous. I've been really liking to just use these kind of two little boxes on this side where it's the peach and the pink and just kind of dusting those along my cheekbones and giving it a very light kind of airy, very girly feel to my cheeks. Moving on to eyeliner. I'm a girl who loves a good black liner. I... I just do. When you find that perfect black eyeliner where it's not tugging on your eye, where it gives a very deep black color and it just, it lasts all day, it's just a feeling you can't replace. So I recently tried the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil in Black Velvet. Pretty much the 24-7 Glide-On Liner collection from Urban Decay has been my go-to because it doesn't make my contacts freak out and want to kill me because that's not fun when you can't see out of your contacts and you're halfway through your day and you're like, I don't know what to do because I can't see, so I'm just going to walk around with my eyes closed. Hey guys. And I guess this favorite's just about rekindling that old romance because I'm back. And by I, I mean this guy. And by this guy, I mean my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Guys, I love mascara. I like foundation, I like eyeliner, I like mascara, pretty much I like makeup, um, surprise, surprise. So when I was home early in April, I realized that I had two unopened packages of my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, and I was like, hey, you lost those, now you found them, bring one back to LA with you because you love it, try it again, and you will re-fall in love. And that is what happened. I like it. I feel like this is what people like, when people are like describing their crush, they're like, oh, I really like him. And I'm like, oh, this mascara, I really like it. So this is just really good at lengthening my lashes and volumizing them and just making them all around great and fabulous and making me feel like I'm wearing false lashes without actually wearing them because I actually hate wearing false lashes. Moving on to hair products, I have another product from my haul video that I did earlier last month, and this is the Color Vibrancy Dual Protect Spray L'Oreal Paris Antioxidant. I am reading all of the words on the cover of this, because why not? So this is a heat protectant spray that also adds vibrancy color protectant to your hair and just makes it not as damaged, maybe. So I've just been using this product after I get out of my showers. I've just been spritzing it all over my hair and then combing it out and putting it in a bun because that is how I like to have my hair when I'm asleep because I don't like to feel like I'm getting trapped in all of my hair. But this has been really good at just protecting my hair because I'm always forgetting to put in a heat protectant before I actually heat style my hair. So it's nice to kind of put it in previously, previously to doing all of that stuff before my hair even dries just to kind of get that like, all right, Casey, you're kind of doing something for your hair-ish. Maybe you're doing good in this world. Probably not. And I feel like it's been doing a pretty good job at keeping my brown hair a bit more of a vibrant brown and kind of keeping it, I guess, I don't know if it's been keeping it healthier or just kind of making it so that it doesn't look as dull and dead and like 
hair and making it more look like hair. And I've been really confused with what I want to do with my hair. I've been going back and forth with the idea of going full out and really low lighting and making it really dark and all of that or going on the opposite side of everything and really highlighting my hair and adding a lot more of the caramel colors and the really light browns and that kind of back into my hair because I've done that in the past and I liked it and I've been looking on Pinterest and spending hours a day just looking and seeing what I want to do and having no final decision because everybody's hair looks really good and then I get it done and I'm like ew I hate it. Struggles. So if you have an idea of what I should do with my hair next, leave it in a comment down below because I have no idea if I want to go darker, if I want to go lighter. You guys tell me what you think I should do because I feel like you guys have a better idea of what looks good on me than I do because I really like getting those comments that say, you look horrible. Thanks doll. And moving on to a scent favorite of the month. This I haven't talked about in a while, I don't think. And it is the Viva La Juicy perfume, but also the Viva La Juicy Noir perfume. I absolutely love this. This has actually been in my purse for the longest time, and that is the reason why it is a favorite, because I've been finding myself way too many times running out the door and then being like, I forgot to put a perfume on today. I've been getting a lot of compliments, strangely, from people I know who are like, Casey, you smell really good, and I'm like, is that a surprise? Finally, for beauty favorite of the month, I have a nail polish favorite. I don't think I've ever had a red nail polish as my favorite because I don't really do red nail polish. I always think that it's too, like, classy for me, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I feel like it's old and you look like you're a grown-up, but I've been wanting to give off that classy vibe. But this is the Nicole by OPI challenge ready and this I think was from their collaboration with Kellogg's which is a cereal company and I got a box of special case cereal with it so that was cool because who doesn't like food and this is just kind of like a classic red but a little bit deeper tone so it looks nice and I've been liking it and it's different for me because I'm always the girl that's in light pink nail polish or black nail polish or bright pink nail polish or pretty much any other color nail polish except for red. But now I'm that girl in red nail polish and I feel classy and I like it. Now moving on to random favorites of the month, I have a music favorite and I think I'm going to go ahead and say that my music favorite of the month was the entire album from Dan and Shay. I am a country music like lover so much obsessed with pretty much all country music but Dan and Shay's album that they released sometime in the past few months has been absolutely amazing and has been on repeat for the entire month because I love it so much honestly every single song is so good and like they're really cute so that's a bonus and finally for my favorites this month I have a TV show favorite of the month and it is New Girl it took me kind of a long time I feel like to get into it because I didn't watch it for the entire length that it's been on up until like three weeks ago no probably like two weeks ago I've been binge watching it and like I've gotten through it really quickly but I'm absolutely obsessed it's on Netflix it has all of the seasons up until I think the most recent one but then it's on Hulu Plus so you're kind of covered forever at least I think I am and I absolutely love it it's just it's a good show so go watch that and I think that's it for TV show favorites of the month I think I really like Netflix and Hulu like really a lot it's kind of a problem so that is it for my favorites for April make sure you leave me in a comment down below what your favorite was for the month and maybe it'll be a favorite of mine for next month because I always find out about really cool things from you guys so make sure you leave me in a comment down below what that is and if you want to see a tutorial on this whole hair makeup shindig thing make sure you like this video so I know that you want to see it and maybe quite possibly it will be coming up next week on my channel so be sure to subscribe so that you will see that and be sure you are following me on Twitter 
Casey underscore Lane because that is where you will be the first to know about all my new videos slash weird things that happened to me. I saw a cat in a sweater that was also on a leash in my apartment building. Yeah, you wouldn't know that if you didn't follow me on Twitter, so maybe go do that because there's a lot of really weird things that I see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!